headed into an auction tonight. Yeah, camera's doing its little thing again. This is at Katie Lynn Auction House, yeah. and it was a little, uh, kind of a western town that used to be like a dance hall, and they've converted it to an auction house. So we're going to go in and see what we can find. Definitely interested in some of those. Those buckets down there. Cool, these little ones are cool too. I think he's gonna start over here with the lawn mowers, and I don't have any interest in that. So I thought I'd kind of walk you around and show you a few of the buildings from the outside. It's a really cool place. When I was growing up, this was a really neat really neat place. I really wish it would have taken off. Just really cool. So like I said, it was originally like a little dance barn area. The jail. <laughs> Pretty neat little place, really. I used to drive past this every day when I drive to school. That was the road. Right out here's the road I drove on. And I drove a 62 Beetle when I was in junior high, high school. Well, high school. I didn't drive in junior high. I drove in junior high, just not to school. Pretty neat place. They're basically just fronts. I think we can probably walk up to this one. Had a lot of potential, really. Just never made it into anything. I think they hit the market just a little early. I think if this happened now, it would be hugely successful. Old cabin there. There's another cabin back there too, right back there. We'll walk around back and get back to the auction. Probably knew him, uh, lived up on Shires Road up North Town and he was a kind of a jack of all trades. He did a lot of welding and uh, worked on lawnmowers for people. and. Thus, we got a lot of welding stuff and lawnmower stuff tonight. Uh, it's a guy sale for sure. And uh, so, um, uh, Sandy and wife needed to get in her garage. She started climbing in and out of her car not being able to get in her garage. Uh, and uh, so, um, it's here to sell, guys, uh, to the highest bidder. And um, we guarantee absolutely nothing except try to do the best job we can for the people we're selling for. 
And uh, so everything's sold out. Give me 10 and go again. 15, 15. I'll bet 10, 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 i will bet 10 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 i I went in with $100 and wanted to hold to that because there were a lot of things in there I wanted. And because it was an auction of a welding shop and a lawnmower repair shop, I knew I could get in trouble real quick. So I went in with a cap. I cashed out at $99.51. So I'll try and go through everything here and kind of what I bought. This little cabinet here, I'm a sucker for these. If you've watched the channel, you know that. And it's a Dorman Products. You can see that there camera to focus and it has it has stuff in it uh, the drawers are full maybe not of what they say but uh, let's see here so you know I'll go through and figure out grommets I'll use those figure out the things in here that I will use and kind of sort of those cotter pins these are apparently pretty collectible they come apart and you can add to and take away. So I was super stoked to get that. Paid up a little bit for that. I paid $10 uh, primarily because I wanted it and I really don't care to pay that because I know I will use it. So I will clean it up and try to pull these labels off with some goo gone and I wanna try to kind of bring it back to what it originally was. Uh, then shop towels, shop linens. Uh, I've sorted them to the logo to non-logoed. These are non-logoed, but there's some really funky colors in there, like this teal color. And I'm gonna make something out of those. I have a plan uh, you'll get clued in on uh, later. These have some really great logoing and badging going on with them. I think it's super cool. Thought about making an apron for myself when I go to do my art shows. I just think it'd be cool to have one that says mechanics laundry like right up front. I think I have a couple of those. Let's see if I can find one real quick. Yeah, there's one. Mechanics Laundry. Property of Mechanics Laundry. So those are really neat. I paid three bucks for all of the linens. You can't even go to Harbor Freight and buy a stack like this for three bucks. I think it's nine dollars for their bundle of shop rags and these are way better quality and they're clean. They've recently been, I say recently, the last time they were quote used was laundered because they were bundled uh, with the bundle and the tag from the laundry service on them so this one also is loaded and it's a pretty good size one so it's like a drop rag so it has the logoing throughout so i'll be able to use that there's there's probably 60 in that stack right there so that was well worth it uh stack of gloves welding gloves and uh, torch gloves I love the gauntlet on these with the star on them. They are brand new. I don't think they've ever been worn. And they fit perfect. So I was super happy to get those. The whole stack was three bucks. And uh, this is a brand new pair. These are really good too if you're heating up uh, something like glass. We use them in the lab. The laboratory I work in uses this exact type of... I don't know what these are made out of. It says they're cotton. But on the inside, there's almost like a Kevlar liner in them. And then I thought these were cool. I just think those are kind of neat. And then, of course, the teal, just leather ones. Regular welding gloves. Those were super cool. Those will fit just perfect. Uh, this welding jacket, I was super stoked to be able to get this. Uh, the auction was a friend of mine. Her dad passed, and so this was all of his stuff. It has interior pockets and the sleeves snap to make a narrower cuff. Love this jacket. I was so honored to get it. So I got the jacket and the welding apron, which is up here, the leather apron, which is already worn and broke in. Broked. Let's try that again. Already worn and broken in. And check out the sweat ring. I love that. And it's a smaller one, so I tried it on and it fit perfect. I'm super happy to get that. Then I bought uh, this old, so that stack, can't remember if I mentioned it or not, was three bucks for the jacket and the uh, welding apron. 
I bought this older welding helmet and I won't put this video up. She probably won't watch it anyway, but I'm going to make a lamp out of this for her. So I paid, paid $3 for that. The auction house is a $3 minimum. So they start bundling when they can't get a bite on stuff. They start bundling. And then I bought uh, these bins. I bought the stackable bins back there that are in the, in the little supports. I paid $10 a stack, and they were four in a stack, so there's $20 right there. Uh, and then I paid uh, five bucks for these, all of the little ones together. So all of these, and then all of these over here. And then, yeah, I think there's, there's two in here. So all of those, and the set back here in the truck were three bucks. Uh, and then this random one was in that pile too. It's just a kind of an intermediate size. So it's not the big one, not the little one. And that was in that stack. Uh, then the, the real win was I paid uh, $3 a stack for these two. I think it was three bucks, might have been five. But there's 10 in each stack. And these are nest tiers. There's the brand, there's the patent. And the really cool thing about these are they have these handles uh, on them and you flip the handle up and it allows it, like this one, to stack. There's a groove cut in them, allows it to stack on the one below it. The cool thing about these is if you're working on a project, you can stack them up, throw parts in them, and then once that project's complete, you can collapse them down and stack them up and they take very little space. I'm thinking pickle bins. I'm thinking those might be good bins for working on old pickle. What do you think? Uh, then I got these hooks. I'm always looking for, for hooks to weld and make stuff out of. These are the kind that go on the front of your truck or front of a tractor to as a pull or tow hook. Got two of those. And then I got some random hooks to make maybe another turkey out of a clutch. Again, that one was kind of a nice color for a turkey. It kind of has a little gobble right there, or whatever that's called. And then uh, I thought this one might make kind of a, a nice swan head maybe. And then these other little ones, I'll make what I call chick on a stick. And I'll show you uh, what that is. So that and then I've got a pile of tarps here. Paid three bucks for the whole stack. The bottom one, the kind of grayish colored one, is off of a semi, I think. It's cut in half. But the real win was this uh, canvas one. Canvas tarps are really expensive. So I use these to make uh, vintage looking tool rolls and different things. So it was dingy, but it's never been used. It looks like brand new on the inside. So. These are really pricey, and that was a super good score. So I got this bucket for three bucks. Like I said, auction house is a three dollar minimum. Uh, it has threaded lamp rod in it, which get my camera to focus. I use quite a bit, so that was kind of good to get. And then just random threaded rod is in there, and other little piece parts that I'll use. There are a couple hooks that someone's made that are in there. Those are nice. A uh, little key handle hook is in there. That's kind of cool. This I bought or was in there and I thought might make a nice uh, candle holder. Like I said, I'm, I do artwork, so I was thinking make that where the candle goes and then kind of bring this part up and curve it around. I think that might make a nice piece. And then this one, I plan, I have a plan for this guy. I'm gonna make a mantle clock style sailboat out of that. So stay tuned for that because that's going to be pretty neat, I think. Uh, yeah, just randomness in this bucket down here. There's some larger uh, threaded rod and different things in there. So I will use every bit of that. Certainly don't care to drop three bucks on that. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention the toolbox. The toolbox. And my grandpa always used these, these rulers. Uh, False City Beer. Yeah. Focus. False City Beer. A couple of those in there. 
Uh, these are really cool pliers. Wouldn't those be a cool handle on a motorized bicycle? An accelerator? I think they would be. Uh, and then just some random snips and pliers and screwdrivers and whatnot. Just thought I'd let you know everything I got for 100 bucks, and we'll catch you on the next one. I was just going through that toolbox and pulled this one out and it says Crustology. I may have to hang on to that one. That's pretty cool. Well, Aaron went to an auction today trying to outdo me on my scores. He scored another Mitsubishi Silver Pigeon. It looks like the last time this one was on the road was in 63. has the original tail light. Little toolbox is still on it. The other one, the body's in a little bit better shape, the other one we have, but this one is all original. Except for the paint's been repainted at some point. And the mice have built themselves a little home in there, so it'll have to be gone through. A little banged up down along the rail there. So it's probably been laid over a time or two. Headlights there, the horn is there. Pretty cool little scooter. There's the seat on it. This one has the gas tank and the original engine. The last one I bought didn't. And then he scored uh, this little cooler for dad. And then a oil can for me to make a lamp out of. Yep, gonna poke holes in it, everybody. Get them cheap enough. I'm poking holes in them. That one I can already, I can just run my lamp cord. Actually, I kind of like that. I don't know that I'll run a lamp cord through that or not. It looks pretty cool. And then this one was at the bottom of a $5 box. Yay! The Rochester oh Monojet. God. This is what is actually in uh, my Series 2 Land Rover. So that was a good score on that guy. Uh, Marathon. Outboard motor oil. I saw this in the auction preview and had him grab it if he could get it cheap enough. I wanted that for myself because it says Marathon on it. And then just other odds and ends. 50 bucks. Some gauges and different things off of a car. I don't know what car. There's some Mopar stuff in there. Uh, there's a set of points in the original box, which is pretty cool. What those are out of. But. And then the remaining odds and ends here. Metal detector. Minnow bucket. So not all at all a bad haul. Oh yeah, they've got this little six foot volt vintage light. Uh, this I will put to good use. Gel coat repair kit. Uh, and gas pump handle. Make a light or something out of that. So that's kind of cool. The Shark Turbo Hand Vac. And the scooter has the original uh, certificate of registration with it so it can be titled, which that's pretty cool. And the manual, uh, I think it's in here, right there, owner's manual for it. So that's pretty awesome, especially since we have two of these. This one's a year newer than the other one I have. It's a 59, 59, C76, the other one's a 58. This thing's been ridden too, because that rear tire is just about bald. It's and 50, it's pretty cruddy on it. 5,500. On the inside. And this little guy was in there. It looks like he's missing a set of wheels, but we probably got enough piece parts to put him back together. Cool. Kind of a neat, kind of a neat little toy. Let me hop up and you can see the dash on this scooter. It still has the original grips on it that say Silver Pigeon. Original headlight switch. I assume that's what that is. And then uh, the original ignition. And it looks like there's your mileage on the odometer. This might be the horn or maybe a kill switch on off. Because I think this is probably the headlight. I don't know. 
know what that controls. A bit of anything right now. Anyway, that's a pretty good score. Hydromatic. Just pull the key out, and the key even says silver pigeon on it. Wish the other one had all that original stuff. Sad thing is, we paid the same price for both of them, basically. That's what auctions are about. Nice thing about having this one have the door. Mine's missing this, or the other one. It's not necessarily mine, but the other one we have is missing that, so I'll be able to build that now. <laughs> and another pile of random tools, uh, mostly C-clamps. So, we'll put those to use. Good score on that. <laughs>